So this is my uh, no-till Great Plains corn planter. Uh, I can go through a few things uh, that I have on it. Um, number one here, we can look right at the, the cedars themselves. One particular thing about my corn planter is these planters are 20 inches apart. Most generally they're 30 inches apart. The mine are 20 and I like that because the corn will canopy over quicker and have weed, uh, it'll slow down the weed growth and stuff. So the particular planter, these front parts, are, all these do is just knock off trash in front of you. So if there's a grain farmer that happens to have a lot of stock and residue in the field, or in our case sometimes we have stones and stuff, it kicks it away from the row that you're going to be planting. So right behind this is the, the culture disc that actually does the no-till. It makes a slot down into the, the ground for the rest of your cedar to come through. And then through here you have the seed that comes down through and it lands in the, in the trough. And I have a seed, seed firmers, Keaton seed firmers, that compress the seed down into the row. And then a very important part of it is closing it up at the, at the end. These wheel closers, I like these, particular type. You can get Thompson wheels, I don't know for sure. They have different settings in the back. For, for more compaction, you want to be able to close that roll. Especially when you're doing no-till, like sod ground, you want to be able to close that trench so you, you put the pressure down more. If you get light soils, you put it up more. Another big thing on the planters are these springs here. They're down pressure force. And different types of soils, you want to set them in different settings. So right here, you have like five different settings. You got a tool that'll pull this up and you can just click into a different setting. So way up is your uh, like clay soils, your hard sods and stuff. You want to put as much down force as you can to keep that planter down into the ground. Uh, most generally, I run it in three. I'm running it in two right now. I've got a little bit of a, some clay in this ground. Uh, my planter is equipped with uh, uh, down pressure controls where I can control it between these other two far settings up and down. But unfortunately that feature, uh, I had problems with it and the part is not coming for a few days. So I, uh, right now I'm doing it, which is fine as long as you adjust it to your soils and you know your soils. Um, so I've got two fertilizers I put down on different farmers will do it different ways uh, I, I do liquid fertilizers and uh, one of the tank sources comes through this smaller line this manifold here and it goes right down in below the seed and that's called pop-up fertilizer and I usually put three to five gallons an acre on the other fertilizer source which comes through this top manifold and comes down this pipe and it jizzles out the side is just a liquid nitrogen and I'll put that down like 8 to 10 gallons an acre um, and all these requirements I do for are based off Tom Eaton's nutrient management plans that I'm sitting in, the, in my tractor seat uh, we'll see in a few minutes when we get in the tractor a little bit later on just a couple other things uh, these three boxes in the back, like I said before, I had two different fertilizers. The one on the left is the pop-up, the far right is the nitrogen, and way in front of the tractor is another tank of nitrogen, so I can balance my acres for fill-ups, because I put more gallons of nitrogen on the pop-up. And right in the center is uh, is the bulk seed that I, that I put in, it's all air blown into the, the disc coming down through the side so it'll come down into these discs and in your bags or your boxes for me I run plates it'll tell what size seed it is and your requirements so I may have to change my discs periodically and, uh, to match the seed control the population and spacing I was talking earlier, I carry my nutrient management plan right with me fertility for different uh, crops that I'm doing and stuff, so I'm always referring to it. 
I'm getting older, so I don't remember all this stuff. I need this book to, to, to find out what I could plan. So way in the back, uh, we have different uh, areas of recording. We've got custom blends, different types of fertilizers and whatnot. Right now, what we're kind of doing, we're planting corn. So this is the planting log that I've been planting so far this year. These are different fields, different varieties, the population, the type of fertilizer that they need. So we're working on page three, so we're coming along pretty good now. So these are the maps for different individual fields, so I get the numbers from, which uh, I coordinate into these monitors that I have on, on here. A little bulky there, but I've got an auto steer that is hooked up directly into the tractor, it's basically the brain. And in here, I'll, 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 I don't want to touch it because I already have it set up for this field. But it's set up for this particular field we're in. And to set the GPS, you hit the set track sign and then you start driving straight. Usually I'll go around the perimeter manually for a couple times. And then when I want to uh, get my headlands done, I want to do an AB line. And you, so you set the track to zero and then you hit A for, for point A and you try to drive as straight as you want to make that field. Then you set B and then accept. And then it kicks you to this steering right here, which is off. But we're gonna be planting and I wanna make sure that's on. So now th this monitor is all set. And to catch your steering on this tractor, it's this simple button right here that I just coordinate when I get it to the line I want to do it, just hit that and it, it takes over the steering. When you get to the end of the headlands, you to take it back out, you just grab the steer wheel and turn the wheel. We'll show you that as we're going through a pass. This other monitor here is for my corn planter and uh, it records different individual things. What we're concerned about down here, the 18 rows I have and I watch those and if there's red marks or something, uh, there's something wrong with that particular planter, I can stop and fix it and stuff. Uh, down here, we have a ACS, is automatic section control, section control. When it's on, when you get to points of the field that already been planted or on the edge of a field, if you're overlapping, sections of the planter will automatically shut off with a GPS, two rows, three rows at a time, and whatnot for those sections um, and in here is basically how your performance is doing with your seeds and stuff uh, you can set your air pressures for uh, that particular seed that you put in your planter how, how you want it to hold in a disc play with that and it also tells you how you're doing down below this is about the planting population which I can just change by right there I hit the button and I took it down to 35.7 I've been usually playing around 37, so we're going to keep it right there. Um, so, I think we're ready to do a little test run. <laughs>